Good morning. It is time for the 24 hour readathon. It is, what time is it? 7.40, so I've got 20 minutes until the readathon starts and I've decided to wake up early, give myself a bit of time to come around so that when I start reading, I can just get straight into it. I've got all the books here already, all 12 ready to be read in the next 24 hours. Do you think I can do it? I am not so sure. I definitely have faith. Right, it's officially eight o'clock and I'm getting started on book one, Cirque de Freak. I'm so excited to get started. <sighs> Cue montage. Okay, I'm already deciding that our main character is a bit of a weirdo. It says here, going to sleep. I used to imagine the spider creeping down, crawling into my mouth, sliding down my throat and laying loads of eggs in my belly. The baby spiders would hatch after a while and eat me alive from the inside out. I loved being scared when I was little. Weirdo. If this was a made-up story, it would begin at night, with the storm blowing and owls hooting, and rattling noises under the bed. But this is a real story, so I have to begin where it really started. It started in a toilet. teenage boy's mind. Danny Curtin had stopped playing football in order to spend lunch hanging out with Sheila Lee, the girl he fancies. Idiot. Okay, so we finally have the first appearance of Mr. Krepsley, and I'm so excited. I'm living for it. I absolutely love Mr. Krepsley. He is one of my favourite characters in the series, and I'm so excited that I get to meet him all over again. So hopefully that's quite fun. <laughs> Okay, so it's nine o'clock, I'm officially one hour in, and I'm on page 71, and there are 183, so I'm like 20 pages behind schedule, which I can make it up, I think. I have a feeling it's definitely going to take me two hours per book, um, which, you know, I've planned for, I accept. I just need to try and speed it up a bit, because I need to make sure that I have breaks, otherwise I will go insane. But I'm determined, and I'm ready, so... I'm going to get back to reading. And that is officially it. I have finished book one and now it is straight on to book two. So it turns out the audio books are actually on YouTube. So I'm going to make myself some breakfast and listen to the audio book for five minutes. It's very slow, so I won't be doing it for that long. So it turns out I forgot to buy milk. So I'm going to the shop and I will listen to my audio book. I'll carry the real book there and then I can have some breakfast. So I'm going to get dressed, go, fine by me. So I'm definitely not a fan of the audio book, but I have the actual book with me. So I'm going to read it on my way to the shop. There's the store! I'm so excited. I need milk, I want breakfast. Okay, so I've definitely lost a bit of reading time because I had to do a minimum five pound spend in the shop and I had to decide what I wanted. Because all I wanted was milk and that only cost a pound and I didn't have cash on me. So that was frustrating. So I've lost a bit of reading time, so I'm going to have to catch up very quickly as soon as I get home. Still reading now, but we'll see. It looks so warm, but feels so cold. I am freezing. Best get home quickly. Okay, it's 10.40, I am on like chapter four of this book, so I am like 
really behind. I'm like 40 minutes behind. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of speed reading while I eat my breakfast. So we are now becoming introduced to Evra the Snake Boy, who is like Darren's best friend in this book series. And oh, I'm so excited and scared because I am absolutely petrified of snakes. Even the fact that it's been mentioned in the book freaks me out. <sighs> so a snake has just wrapped itself around Darren. And then Evra the Snake Boy, who controls the snake, has just said, well, you could have tugged her off at any time. She wouldn't have stirred. She's a, a deep sleeper. And he was like, she's asleep. She just wrapped herself around me. How can she be asleep? She sleep crawls. This book, I don't know why I find this so funny. I just find it hilarious. Like, sleep crawling from a snake. Okay. Four hours into the readathon, and I am the majority of the way through book two, two thirds of the way through. So I am loving it. I think it's great. A bit behind on schedule, but I'm not too worried. I'm hoping I can pick up very quickly. We will see. I'm going to keep reading. I'm very excited. I also, when I finish this book, definitely need a change of scenery. So I may go upstairs, relax in my room for a bit, I may go out. I'm not sure where I want to go. Obviously, we're not under lockdown yet, but we are really meant to be isolating, so going out is probably not the best option. It's rubbish when you're stuck in the house. Right, I am four hours into the readathon, and I am the majority of the way through book two, two thirds of the way through. So, I am loving it. I think it's great. A bit behind on schedule, but I'm not too worried. I'm hoping I can pick up very quickly. We will see. I'm going to keep reading. I'm very excited. I also, when I finish this book, definitely need a change of scenery. So I may go upstairs, relax in my room for a bit. I may go out. I'm not sure where I want to go. Obviously, we're not under lockdown yet, but we are really meant to be isolating. So going out is probably not the best option. It's rubbish when you're stuck in the house. This is the third time foreshadowing has appeared in this book. If I hadn't been so absent-minded, maybe things would have turned out differently, and perhaps our stay wouldn't have ended in bloodshed and tears. I'm not liking it. So I'm at the end of book two, so I can go straight on to book three, because I think I'm like an hour behind now, so I'm really, really starting to get worried. So straight in to book three. So I'm saddened by book two. So much happened. After reading it the second time, I hate RV now. He's just so pathetic. He's whingy. I get, I get that you don't want animals to be murdered. I feel you. I'm on your side. But he let the wolfman out. The wolfman attacked Darren. The wolfman attacked Sam. The wolfman killed Sam. Sam was lovely. Sam was just a young lad. He was younger than Darren, so he was probably around 12 or 13 years old. And he just got ripped apart by a werewolf. Because some vegetarian didn't want the wolf to be in a cage. I get it. But you just killed someone. I'm hurt. That book has left me feeling some kind of way and I am not happy about it. I hope book three is not as traumatic, but I have a feeling it will be. So 
So I'm a quarter of the way through, so I think it's time for a very, very short quarter of the way through party. break is over. I am not as far into this book as I should be because really I should have finished by now and I have about 70 pages left to go. So I want to get changed because you will realise with me, honestly spend a day with me, I get changed about five or six times a day. Don't know why, just do. So I'm going to get changed and then I'm going to sit back and relax and just read for a while. So see you in a minute. So I'm here with my book, getting ready. It is actually lunchtime, but I'm not feeling lunch. Well, it's two o'clock, so it's whatever time I usually have lunch. So as a bit of a snack, I've got myself some crisp and I'm gonna have one of my benefit bars. Just, I'm not feeling a big lunch, so I'll save myself until my evening meal tonight and then snack throughout the evening to try and keep myself awake. So benefit bar, bag of crisp, Salted. I also got a large can of Coca Cola, cheap Coca Cola, and cost me 49p. I loved it. So, getting one of these, put it in my drink when I want one. I'm not gonna do that. Back to reading. <laughs> Time for book four. Now this is the start of a new trilogy so I'm very excited about this because it will all change. So we've been introduced to the Vampanese now and a lot of these Cirque de Freak characters. So who is coming up? Oh right, I know for a fact that this is coming back to obviously this next one's Vampire Mountain. I know they go up to the mountain and meet with the, is it the count, the general people? Um, and the vampire princes who are the head of all vampires. So that's very exciting. You know, I keep thinking, oh my God, it's so late. I'm running out of time. I'm really behind on my books. And whilst that is true, I am realising really that it's hours away, like 8 a.m. It is now not even 4 p.m. yet. Four. <laughs> it's not even 4 p.m. yet. Like, I still have a full 16 hours left to read these books. Is it doable? Who knows? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have nine more to go in 14 hours. <sighs> we will see. So it's now 4 p.m. I'm starting to get a bit tired. I think I need to walk around for a bit. I need to move. There's been a scene here and it's like in the movies, you know, where someone's eating something like, oh, this is totally amazing. And then they say, yes, that's what this is. And then like, oh, 
Well, he's just been doing the same. He's eating this broth and Darren is loving it. He's living for the food. Totally relatable. Stunning that. And then Mr. Krepsley weren't eating any. So he was like, why aren't you eating any broth? And he said, bat broth doesn't agree with me. And he was literally just a eh, moment where he realised it was a bat in the broth. And I just found it really funny because I could just picture him there with some bread and he's just like, okay. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, screw it. I'm going to keep walking. I need to keep myself awake. I wonder how long we can keep doing this. This is getting really boring. <laughs> I feel like Kelvin John. I'm still standing. So I decided to come and sit downstairs for a while because I was quite get bored from upstairs. I was getting bored. So I am back in my original position. Back in the OG crew. Whoop whoop. So it's just turned six o'clock. I'm not really hungry as much, but I am starting to feel a little bit peckish. So I think I'm gonna eat as late as I can so that I'll still be awake later on in the evening. So I'm gonna grab a, a bit of a snack. I have some cocktail sausages, I'll grab some of them and then I will carry on with book five. I'm literally two hours behind, which I'm really worrying about. I'm hoping I can just properly speed through especially when the pace starts ramping up in the next couple of books but I am worried that the longer it goes on and the tireder I get the more I'm going to fall asleep and the slower I'm going to read so I'm going to have to be quick no I need snacks first and I'm back with snack now I'm ready to begin so hopefully get a snack get started can get this over with and get through it very quickly. So I'm 11 hours into my readathon. That is nearly halfway through. It's seriously going so quickly. I'm so surprised, but it is getting very dark outside, so I know I'm going to get tired soon. But I'm honestly so surprised about how quickly it's gone. I did not expect that. <sighs> And I'm still only on book five. I'm very behind. On the plus side, when I finish this, I only have one more small book and then I have two of the big books. So I'm hoping I can get through the big books quicker. I'm looking at them, they're right behind the camera. Not likely. <sighs> finish this book and then I will get into my pajamas and get comfy. And then at eight o'clock, when I'm officially halfway through, it is time for another party. So we are officially halfway through. I am absolutely shattered. I'm very annoyed that I'm not as far ahead as I want to be, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how quickly I read these books, as long as I get to the end and as long as I am actually enjoying them. Because the one thing I don't want to do is read quickly just to catch up to time and not actually enjoy the books that I'm reading. So it doesn't matter that I'm behind schedule. As long as I read and I enjoy, and I'm going to try my hardest to stay awake up until the end and on, up until I have finished the books, no matter how long that takes. I have a feeling I'm going to have to have a five minute break. Definitely need a five minute break. I don't remember that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Big betrayal. 
Oh my god. So someone who I come to know and love in this book, only introduced in this book, a very nice man, has just betrayed them. He has just killed one of the good guys. Does that mean he's on the bad guy's side? Why don't I remember this? Oh, my life is a lie. Okay, I am now changed into my comfy pyjamas. I have not yet had my eight o'clock halfway through readathon party. So I will need to do that eventually. I wanted to get to the end of the book. So, here are the books I have left to read. It is currently 8.30. So, this big one, this big one, and then this is the last of the small ones. So this one's next, and then I have I'm this really one to read. So, what I'm actually stories. going to do to begin with is, I think, just to celebrate, and also, I need it, I'm opening my Prosecco. How do I open Prosecco? I've never done it before. Prosecco is open. Okay, I'm not going to have too much for deal. I've just checked the clock. That took me four minutes. That's not awkward. I know it's like really late to say it, considering how far into this readathon I am, but how cool is that chapter title? So I was a little bit late, but I decided to have my halfway through readathon party now. I mean, it's only an hour and a half late. Not an issue. Another stellar conversation for the scrapbook. Another stumble as I'm reaching for the right thing to say. Well, I'm kind of coming up empty. Can't find my way to you. Does anybody have a map? Anybody maybe happen to know how the hell to do this? I don't know if you can tell, but this is me just pretending to know. So where's the map? Cause the scary truth to. is I'm flying blind. I'm flying blind. I'm flying blind. And I'm making this up as I go. Oh, I wanna dance with somebody. I wanna feel a heat with somebody. Yeah, I want to dance with somebody. Well, the pie is officially over. I feel like I need to get back to reading. So when I got changed into my jammers, I turned my electric blanket on because I thought, oh, that'll make me really cosy. And now, I'm just really warm. Like, don't you hate when that happens? Like, I want it to be nice and snuggly and cosy, and instead it's just made me really hot. I don't like that. So that's gone off now. It was actually making me fall asleep, so I'm kind of awake more now. So, I'm happy about that. Yay. So I finally finished book six, which is The Vampire Prince, which means I'm now officially halfway through, but time is ticking on. I'm like three hours behind and I'm really, really tired. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to the audiobook for about 20 minutes, half an hour, just to give my eyes a rest. And then I'm going to carry on. So I'm going to stay awake. Don't worry. I even have an alarm set just in case I do fall asleep, but I'm going to be listening to the audiobook for 20 minutes. And then I'm going to get up. Had fun last night, he asked. I've been poisoned, I moaned, rolling over onto my stomach, feeling as though I was on the deck of a ship during a first storm. 
Now, if that doesn't describe a hangover, I don't know what will. How do I have eight and a half more hours of this? I'm so tired. Am I crying? Maybe. I think I am. I don't know. All I know is I'm really tired. I'm getting really bad bed head because I'm that tired. And I'm sat on my bed. I feel like I need to move eventually. But I don't want to move yet. I feel like I should be in an insane asylum right now. So it is nearing midnight. I'm still awake. I'm actually not feeling that tired anymore. I'm still going strong. But I am 69 pages into this one and it ends on page 178. So, got quite a while to go to get there. And then I have all them to read. And then I have another one this size. <sighs> but I have a feeling I can do it. I'm actually reading a lot quicker than I was before. So, I'm getting into the swing of it now. Just needed a bit of a relax, listening to an audiobook, stop having my eyes focus. And now I'm fine. So I'm awake. And I am ready to go. It was just said here. Darren's going through something called The Purge, where, because he's only a half vampire, his vampire cells are attacking the rest of the human cells and turning him into a full vampire. So, this said he'll rapidly start aging, because they only age at five years to every one. So, for every five human years, he ages one. So, he's going to rapidly start aging, so he's a bit older. And he's just said, you mean I'll finally hit my teens? So how old was he to begin with? Because it's been at least 15 years since book one. It's been 15 years since he was turned into a vampire. Which means if they're doing the 5 to 1 ratio, that means it's been 3 years. Which means he was finally hitting his teens and it was 3 years. It means there was only 10 in book one. That's going to be a lot to think about. I'm going to email Darren Shan. I'm going to have to find out about this. I'm going to Twitter him right now. I hope I get a response. This has really confused me. Oh my god, I've been reading so long, every the snake boy now has a child. How long have I been reading? <sighs> it's one o'clock. only six hours left which means I'm three quarters of the way through still behind but who cares I can't wait until 8am I need sleep eh, back to reading okay Darren's ex-girlfriend from book three is now his teacher because he's had to enroll in school and I'm on book eight so seriously how much time has passed So before I forget, it is actually Mother's Day in the morning, so I need to write my mother's card out. A few moments later. And now that that's done, back to reading. So I'm now at the start of book nine, and I'm realising that I don't remember half of this. I don't remember a lot of this. I knew Reggie Veggie going back into it, but I don't remember everything with Steve. I don't remember everything with Debbie. 
And then it hit me. I realised that I, I didn't actually own these books. I had to buy these ones. I had the first six and then I read the third, I read the last six online. And I don't think I actually read all of them because it was weird reading it online. So I think I only read like the last up to book nine because I remember Reggie Veggie and I don't remember anything else. Like everything with Steve and Debbie and all of those people. I don't remember anything anymore. So this is new territory for me. So I've got a, like a short burst of energy knowing that I've got nothing. Like I've got no memory of this now. Don't get me wrong. I'm still tired. I'm still on the verge of crying. But I have snacks. I have strawberry flavoured water. I still have some Prosecco. That I have no intention of drinking. And I have the knowledge that in a few hours, I can sleep. On to book nine. So I'm going to read a couple more chapters, and then I think I'm going to get dressed again. Because I think one of the main reasons that I'm so tired is because I am in my pyjamas and I'm laying in bed. And I think that's a big issue. I think I need to get dressed and get out of bed. And I might feel a bit more awake. So I am dressed. I am downstairs. I have the book that I have just a bit more to finish. I have like another hundred and something to do. I've got however long I've got left in it. And then I have one more book. So, it is 7am. I have finally finished this book. And I have this one left. Now I know I am not getting through this in an hour. I don't even think I could finish one of the three books in here in an hour. It'll probably take me two to get through one. So it means staying up well past 8am. So, what I'm going to do, because this is the start of a new book, I think I'm going to go to sleep, spend a couple of hours asleep, recharging my batteries, and then I will wake up and continue reading. And then just keep the clock going on how long it'll take me. So this is 23 hours. And we'll see how long it takes once the clock starts. But for now, good night, my friends. Good night. Good morning. So I'm now awake. I am feeling so much better. So I'm going to fix myself some breakfast and then carry on reading the final three books. And that is it. I have officially finished the saga of Darren Chan. And now this, this was a lot of work. It was a lot of effort. I read this much in 23 hours. And then I finished this once a day. It took me about three more hours, maybe three and a half. So let's just round it up and say it took 27 hours instead of the 24 I planned to read through these. And it was a fantastic series. I absolutely loved them. It felt like childhood. Plus, for these ones, I didn't actually have a physical copy of the books up until the well, up until I recently bought them. So I don't even think I'd read these ones. So the ending, all of the last few books was new to me and I loved them. I thought they was amazing. I didn't know how they ended. And I have some feelings about the ending. There was so much that happened. Everything got dramatic. It was 
phenomenal. A great series, would definitely recommend. Hopefully this readathon was entertaining for you. Will I do it again? No, I am never doing another one. I say that, I probably will, but I swear I cannot do another 24 hour readathon because it nearly killed me off. I was so tired. I can't deal without sleep. It was horrible. But I loved reading these. Totally will be reading these at some point in the future. Love them. Oh, I'm so happy. So, definitely would recommend you reading these books. And other than that, that is it from me. So thank you so much for everybody that joined in with my readathon. I hope you all got the books you wanted to read out of the way. And for everyone that watched, thank you all so much. So other than that, I post every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. And until next time, see you later.